Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so in the last one, we created a, oh sorry, we're working on making a text adventure game, and I think this is the second or third part. In the last part, we had just finished making our character class. Um, and what I was suggesting you do is you go back, uh, not go back, you try and create a sort of user interface that's going to tell the story. Um, and then I made a mistake. I said, try and create a frame class. Uh, sorry, not a frame class, a room class for each room they enter. Um, this would probably actually be a good idea, but there's certain things we've not done yet, such as inheritance, that's going to make it a bit mm, tricky for the moment. So maybe for now, let's just try and keep it a bit simple, and we'll just try and create what's effectively going to be a storyteller class. Now, you can imagine we could just do it procedurally and tell our story down here, line after line after line after line, um, and have them make choices and use ifs to divide up. We could do it that way. Um, but we're trying to use a more object-orientated approach. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a storyteller. So this is like, a, just imagine an old man reading out the story, or an old woman perhaps. Um, and that's what this story class is going to represent for me. And I'm going to have define underscore underscore init underscore underscore self. OK, and then I'm just going to say print. Welcome to, I'm going to call my game, The Dark Cave. Okay, mine is really badly named, but still, go with it. Um, it may surprise you to know I do work as a writer as well, but I'm not going to prove it today. So anyway, we've got class story, define in it, and then print welcome to the dark cave. Um, so let's just check that's all going okay, because I make loads of silly mistakes all the time. So I'm going to say new game. Should always be underscore, shouldn't it? New game equals story, like so. And then run. Okay, welcome to the dark cave. I can maybe, eh, doesn't matter, <laughs> put other quotation marks to make it nicer, but no, it'll do for now. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to... Uh, I could set up a new game. So, okay, let's define new underscore game. So, now, what I could do is, you know, I, I could, uh, sorry, I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so new game, print, mm, what I want to do in new game. I want to call other methods that I've not made yet. So we'll kind of come back to that. Uh, I want to call self dot create character okay so what's going to happen is when i run a new game it's going to this new game method is kind of like a reset button it's going to return everything to the way it was at the start now i mean for example if the person dies we're going to say do you want to play a new game yes no if they say yes we want to run new game and it will first flush out all the variables that we've made and then it will start the character creation and start the game running again. So that's the whole point in doing this as, as down here. Um, okay, so and then I'm going to define create car. Okay, oops, what did I do there? And I need self. And this method is going to be, of course, responsible for creating the character. So as we've seen above, up here, we're going to make one of these. But first, we need to talk to the user. So we can say something like name equals uh, input. Please en enter a name for your character. OK. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say PC for player character equals character and we're going to say name. Now name is going to be whatever the user has answered here. Um, and that's going to be assigned to the self.name in this instance. Um, but uh, we could change loads of stuff in here. You know, we could you know, um, for example, a common thing is going to be what's uh, 
class is the, is the word, but what, what uh, character class is your character? For example, is he a thief? Is he a wizard? Is he a warrior? Whatever you want him to be, that's fine. Um, but I want to keep mine quite simple, but you could add in something like this and then depending on that it's going to change the hit points, it's going to change the attack points, it's going to change the items available. So that would be where you would do something like this, would be in your create character method. Um, hopefully you've, you're going a bit more detailed than me, I'm just trying to keep it fast because there's lots to do. So anyway, create a character name. Uh, one thing just to point out, what happens if you wanted to change just the hit points but not change the name? So this is the default. So how does it know which one to go to? Um, all you would have to do down here is say name, that is the name of the parameter here, equals blah, blah, blah. So if you want to change it in a different order, then you can do it like that. Use the name up here, so HP equals 40. And it would just change this one and still leave name as the default. Okay, so... Again, slightly off topic, but hopefully it gives you the right idea. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so I think we're okay so far. Let's just test. Now, again, I could do a new game story, but what I want to do is actually inside of here, I'm going to say self dot new game. Now, I might come back and change that later, but for the moment, whenever I run this, I just want it to automatically start a new game first time. Um, and I forgot something very important. I forgot to say self.pc. Okay, so make sure you assign it to the instance. Now, let's see what happens. Please enter the name of your character. I'm going to be traditional and have Frodo. Okay, nothing happening yet, but that seems to mean that it's working. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to, I'm going to try and make a room. So uh, the first room. So we're going to start outside. Now, like I said, you probably would do this more with uh, another class and have an, a, a list of classes, uh, a list of um, those classes for each one. But for now, we're going to do it this way. Complaints in the comments below, but... It's more just to practice what we've done than anything else. So I don't want to get bogged down in too much new stuff. So anyway, outside. So we're going to say something like print uh, you are uh, you are a slave. slave. Your master has Brought you to the dark cave. Print. Again, okay, you could. There's better ways you can do this, but I just like different print statements. Um, it just keeps it tidier for me. Um, many people have died here before. Okay, your master commands that you enter the cave to collect the evil book of spells. Okay, so we've got something like this. Um, now, what we're going to have is we're going to ask questions and give different options. Now, first thought might be, okay, well, I'll just, you know, I'll do a while um, and I'll do an if like we did before. But we're going to have this for every single room they're in. So again, one of the great, or one of the important things in programming is that you, you say, okay, where am I doing a lot of repetition and how can I cut down on the amount of repetition that I have to do? So what I'm going to do instead is when I ask a question and it has different options is I want it to automatically filter out if they type something that's not one of the options. Okay, so let's say in this case, uh, maybe I say 
uh, answer equals input do you enter the cave okay it's going to be something like that and then we would have while answer is not equal to this or that um do this do that but instead i don't want to do that what i want to do is i want to create a new method that's going to check every time so we're going to give that method like maybe a list of appropriate answers we're going to give it maybe the question that we're asking and it will use that to decide if that's okay or not uh, if it's one of the acceptable options um, so see if you can I'm not going to do it for you right away I'll do it in the next video so see if you can try and make your own method that's going to check the answers rather than doing it again and again and again let's make a method in here that's going to check it for us okay um, so check that out and uh, any questions so far or complaints I think everything's okay so far but I'll do it in the next video so that you've got time to do it yourself.